Here we are in Toronto, Ontario, actually nowhere near a lake at the moment, but we're here because Crosstown Engines is here. They've been in business more than 50 years rebuilding car and boat motors. In fact, someone from my marina has their engine here at the moment. So we're gonna go in, check out what they're working on, and hopefully follow along one of their rebuild projects. Hey, Jimmy, how's it going? Hey, Steve, how are you? Good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I see you got another one. What, uh, what's going on? What's the problem? Well, this is a five liter Merc Cruiser engine. Unfortunately, it has a cracked block from poor winterization. Mm, so classic. we're going to do a disassembly of all the external components. We're going to prepare another long block assembly and then reassemble everything on there and then put it on the dyno, physically run it, test it, and then give it back to Marina. So winterization problems, is that the most common? You see that a lot? We see a lot of that. We see a lot of worn out engines, burning oil, you know? And when we're talking about a rebuild, it depends on the engine, depends on what you need to do. Mm -hmm. But safe to say, this is a much more cost effective way than buying a, a brand new engine or even a, a, a new used engine, is that right? Oh, definitely. We keep the cost down because we're using all these external components and we use our own long block assemblies. We machine everything in house. We keep the cost down for the customer. All right, well, I'll let you get to it. Uh, do you need any help? No? Okay, yeah. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Getting an engine rebuilt is definitely a cost-effective repair for a cracked block because all the other components can be reused. And while Jim starts disassembling the engine, we met with his brother, Lou, to learn about the rebuilding process. Hey, Lou. Hey, Steve. How's it going? Good. Jimmy says he's good, doesn't need help stripping down, so I'm yeah. coming to see what you're doing. Awesome. Uh, you're all set up here. What's the plan? This is well, the this rebuild? Is, yep, this is our final assembly here. This is the natural block that's been already been machined. We machined the block oversized, micro-honed, resurfaced the deck area. After the machining, it goes to the final wash stage, gets all cleaned, and this is our final assembly. We machine the crankshafts in-house. Okay, this is where the connecting rods, the new components, the bearings, the timing chain, the lifters, the oil pump and being a marine engine, specifically for marine purposes, marine grade components, and from select vendors. And how many have you done? Like, you have any idea? Well, I don't know the exact number, but somewhere in the neighborhood of like 13,000 engines. Thousand? 13,000? 13, 13, yeah, Whoa. I've done quite a few. So you got a system, like I got a system. Down pat. I've done it a few times, yeah. I'll let you get to it. Uh, is it cool if I just wander around the shop? Yeah, just make sure you don't touch anything. Uh, if I break it, I bought it? That's it. <laughs> Lou got busy assembling the engine with all the new and machined parts, making sure everything was well lubricated as it goes together. As I poked around the shop, you could tell he wasn't kidding when he said he had built over 13,000 engines because he's no stranger to these parts. This looks more like an engine that I'm used to. Yeah, well this is the engine we were looking at earlier when I was showed you just the block. This is the actual final stage right now before we ship the engines out. Uh, this particular engine here, we put it all together. We put on this machine where we actually test the engine to make sure everything is good. All right, let's fire it up. Okay. As you can see, the engine oil pressure now is built up. How much oil pressure you got there, Steve? Uh, it's right around 50. Yeah, 50 pounds of oil pressure. We can check to see, make sure the engine's getting lubricated, all the oil is getting to the rocker arms, and then we physically come over here and then we'll check compression on there. We'll put the gauge to it. And we've got 175 pounds of compression. We check all eight cylinders. And with this, we also check to make sure there's no oil leaks coming from the back cam plug, the gallery plug, the rear main seal. There's no oil leaks on the engine. The last thing we want to do is have a customer calling us telling us he's got an oil leak. Right. So once it passes all this test, yep. then give it back to Jimmy and he starts putting Mounting everything, everything back on? Yep. He puts everything back onto it and if the customer wants, we go to the final stage where we actually physically dyno test the engine to measure the horsepower, the torque and all the rest of the functions of the engine. A lot of customers have a you know, wooden boat where it's very difficult to get the engines in or they're using large boats with 254, 454s and they have to get special booms to get them in. So the cost of dyno testing engine as opposed to having a problem down the road, nobody wants to have that. And plus we can monitor things, supposing on late model fuel injection we can monitor an engine if one injector is bad or if there's an issue with the electronics. We can check all of that here before it goes into the boat and then we just ship it out. Beauty. Hey Jimmy. Hey Steve, how are you? Good. So you got it all stripped down, now we can really see what the problem is. So it's nice and flat here should bulge right out. Like, so that crack is in the middle of a bulge, crack at the top. 
we'll just sit here and slap some gum on it and say it's fixed. <laughs> Somebody was trying to have some fun there, put some JB Weld on it, trying to fix it. I had to change the band-aid every once in a while. It's <laughs> fine. It's amazing the power of water, eh? That oh. it can, like this is thick metal here. Oh yeah, it's very thick. And once it freezes, it's pushing out whatever it wants to. It can bend connecting rods, it'll crack blocks right in half. What are we looking for and what's all hooked up here? Well, we're all hooked up to the dyno, so this will measure the horsepower, the torque readings. So when you're testing all these numbers, you have like a sort of cheat sheet because every engine's different. Well, you have to look at the specs for this particular engine. So this being a five liter engine, this particular model, it makes 220 horsepower and about 300 foot pounds of torque. So that's where we have to be at. So we know when it goes back in the boat, it's exactly where we're supposed to be from factory for Merck. So we're all good to go, we can fire it up? Yep, we can do it up. So this is the parameters of the engine, the way it's running right now. We can see everything that's going on. Like I said, trouble codes, air fuel ratios, throttle position sensors, timing. So we know everything's working properly. Ah. We got our oil pressure right here. We're about 60 pounds. When the engine warms up, it'll go down and go back to its regular spec. We're gonna let it warm up a bit, and then we'll make a few pulls. Perfect. And you have the throttle controls and everything here, so yes. what, yeah. what do you check visually just to We check? wanna see if uh, engine temperature's up, check for timing, any leaks, any binding on the linkages. Make sure everything's good. We can do one pull now. We're about we're operating temperature right now. back down to idle. Then we just go to the computer screen here and we'll find out how much horsepower it made. This is the first numbers we look at here. This is our torque readings. We know if it makes enough torque, we know what's gonna carry the horsepower later. So this engine calls for 300 foot-pounds of torque. We're at 301, so we're right where we're supposed to be. You do a couple readings. At least 10, 15 tests. Okay. And then after we do all that, we can check here for any trouble codes, you know? This engine's running good, no codes at all, so. She's ready for the custom. Beauty. Beautiful. Just because I was here. Four extra horsepower. Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crosstown engine. More horsepower than you need. Hey. <laughs> hey, that should be on the walls. <laughs>